Hey everybody, John O'Brien, founder of Operation Hope. So this is a debate that continues about whether social justice has any use for capitalism. Uh, I'd argue you actually cannot have social justice in the 21st century without free enterprise and capitalism. Yes, it's a pretty bold and audacious statement. People then say, well, I hate rich people, John. Actually, my response, I think I put in my book, uh, How the Poor Can Save Capitalism, um, and I would encourage you to pivot to the book today that I've written on mindset called Up From Nothing, this book. I, my response is you actually don't hate rich people. You hate rich people until you become rich, <laughs> okay? What you hate is a game system. What you hate is something that doesn't work for you that you feel is, is sort of stacked, the decks are stacked against you. And what we need to do is level the playing field and open the doors and create uh, opportunity for all, for everybody to achieve their God-given talents in this world. Uh, that's why I was able to found uh, Brian Group Ventures, uh, which is now uh, owns as one of its subsidiaries, the largest owner of single family rental homes, uh, yeah, single family affordable rental homes in America for a minority, the Promise Homes Company. It's why I was able to found Operation Hope, the largest nonprofit financial inclusion organization in America, uh, approaching now 200 locations across this country. And we'll soon have over a thousand locations in our partnership with Truist, which was just announced. This is all through the private sector. Yes, we're in partnership with the government, in partnership with community. But please hear me. We have listened to nothing else. Please tell everybody to go to this uh, timestamp in this video and listen to what I'm saying now. Please listen. You have, you have very educated people. What's the percentage of government employment in this country? People will say with college education, white people, black people, brown people, Latino, it doesn't matter, women, men, they will all say, you know, I don't know, 20, 30, some people say 40%. It's not. It's not. Please listen. Okay, this is really important. Employment in America is 88% the private sector. 88% of all employment in America is the private sector, right? 100% of all legitimate wealth in this country comes from the private sector. Legitimate wealth meaning not through murder, crime, mayhem, drug dealing, you know, illegal activity. I'll repeat that. 88% of all jobs in this country come from the private sector which means that 12% of all jobs come from the city, state, municipal, and federal government. And 100% of all legitimate wealth come from the private sector. 100% of all the murders of, of blacks against police and the shootings have been in neighborhood shootings have been in 500 credit score neighborhoods, in neighborhood meaning where people live. They were stopped and, and had an incident in their neighborhood. They were at 500 credit score, sub 600 credit score neighborhoods for sure. They're not happening in 700 plus credit score neighborhoods because 700 credit score neighborhoods don't riot, they go shopping. So you have this situation where people who are surviving are living differently than those who are thriving and who are winning. Because again, I just I unpack in the book uh, from nothing. I want people to go uh, through operational programming. I want you to become a, a small business owner through the One Biz, Black, Million Black Business Initiative. I want you to get your financial literacy through financial literacy for all. I want you to get your financial coaching through Operation Hope and its financial coaching Hope Inside Network. I want you to, to, to fulfill your dream, become a homeowner, because it costs just as much to rent as it costs to own. Why don't you own some of your own? I want you to stop thinking that because if you own a home, that the bank owns the home and you don't. That's not true. They own the debt. You own the appreciation. Right? You own the, dep the depreciation, you own the appreciation, you own the tax benefits, you own all the upside. The bank does not own that. You just have to pay them back. So let's get out of this ridiculousness and get into a place where we can take control of our lives. $35 billion has been committed by the private sector during this social justice era since George, Floyd, George Floyd's murder. $35 billion has been committed by companies to lift people up. Because I believe that they now realize it's not just the right thing to do. They also realize that it's smart business, too. I'm out. John O'Brien. Let's go. Let's keep building on this philosophy of doing well and doing good. And from civil rights to civil rights, download the Hope in Hand app today and go get the empowerment that you so rightly deserve.